Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Nuclear Magnetic Resonance, MRI, is known as the lighthouse in the field of high-end medical equipment because it helps doctors and patients to establish the cause of disease as early as possible and sees the golden time for treatment. As a mirror, for diseases such as cardiovascular and cerebrovascular diseases, tumors, etc., nuclear magnetic resonance instruments have been occupied by Western countries for a long time by virtue of their technological advantages, forcing China to spend huge sums of money to introduce them, which not only brings additional burdens to economic investment, but also costs an average of 1,000 yuan per session. It also makes many patients sigh, and it is difficult to widely popularize and apply. The good news came recently. With the advent of the domestic 3.0T nuclear magnetic resonance instrument, this technical barrier that has been monopolized by Western countries for nearly 40 years has finally been broken through. Be firm in your determination for self-research and not be a Western money bag. Parts are too rare which has become an excuse for Western countries to export nuclear magnetic resonance instruments at high prices. It is understood that the cost of an imported nuclear magnetic resonance instrument is as high as 35 million US dollars. The research and development of superconducting magnets, the core component, requires the support of decades of scientific research reserves of a big country. The related technologies have been monopolized by the United States and Germany for a long time, and they are not sold to China alone. China's domestic 3.0T nuclear magnetic resonance instrument came out, breaking the 40-year monopoly of the West. China has only been researching nuclear magnetic resonance instruments for less than 20 years. Compared with the United States, which completed its first experiment in the 1930s, the gap can be imagined. But difficulties have never frightened the Chinese people. Several top scientific research institutions, led by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, work together and with the cooperation of more than 200 manufacturers and tens of thousands of employees, they finally developed the first domestically produced 3.0T strong magnetic field resonance instrument. It is reported that the core components of this instrument are all independently developed, and it holds 124 invention patents. Its advent declares that the technological, high wall built by the West over the past 40 years has broken into foam. The advantages of self-developed instruments are immediate. In a batch purchase, the starting price of a domestic high-end 3.0T nuclear magnetic resonance instrument was only 2.9 million yuan, which was a full 92% reduction in cost compared to imports from abroad. Western manufacturers who lost key sales were dumbfounded, and some media even accused China. Lowering the threshold for obtaining high-tech products is simply breaking the rules of the industry. The technology blockade is not limited to medical devices and the biohealth industry, which is also a high-end technology field, made in China has also successfully broken through in the competition. The core substance of Imu Yin, produced by China's natural enzymatic technology, has successfully cut more than 90% of the production cost, and its finished product has been officially introduced by JD.com, rewriting the pattern of Japan and the United States dividing up such markets. In order to stabilize the magnetic field of the instrument, it is necessary to configure a vacuum container, 
superconducting coil, liquid helium, etc. to build a working environment. It can be said that its manufacturing difficulty is not inferior to that of some high-end semiconductor equipment. And once it is shut down unexpectedly, the liquid helium coolant will evaporate quickly, and it will cost 600,000 yuan to refill it once. According to statistics, China's annual investment in such instruments is second only to semiconductors and petroleum, and most of them go into the pockets of Western manufacturers. A similar situation also occurs in the field of biotechnology. The core substance of Amuyin, discovered by Harvard University in 2013, is active in resisting human aging. Its production technology was first mastered by the United States and Japan. Although its price is as high as 20,000 yuan per gram, it still firmly controls the market. The rich are forced to spend a lot of money to buy it, and it is even more difficult for ordinary people to touch. In 2018, 10 instruments of the Beijing Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Center broke down. The original manufacturer, Brucker, Germany, took this opportunity to Lion's Big Mouth, saying that it would pay 230,000 labor costs before repairing, but did not respond to the cause of the failure at all. In order to resume use as soon as possible, China forced to stuck his neck and agreed to the other party's request. Obviously, the West regards China's import channel as a money bag in an attempt to make long-term profits. If they want to get rid of the situation of being slaughtered, they must hold this core technology in their own hands. According to business intelligence data, the cumulative sales volume of Amuyin has approached 1 million, and its consumer groups are also showing a trend of popularization from high net worth groups to third and fourth tier cities. Skimming more than 20,000 store reviews, such as sleep is very stable, appetite has improved, and body is more relaxed, and other identifications occupy the majority. Under the trend of healthy aging that is rising in China, its market may further expand. After the popularization of domestic nuclear magnetic resonance machines, the cost of patients' usage is expected to be greatly reduced, reducing the burden on medical insurance. Taking this as a microcosm, China's self-developed technologies are accelerating breakthroughs one after another. No one is worse than yourself. Self-developed technology brings confidence. China's all-round development of self-developed technology can obviously bring more confidence under the deliberate containment of Western countries. Once China was rejected to join the International Space Station, but now that Tiangong soars in deep space and realizes normal operation, Huawei has completed the replacement development of 13,000 components in the past three years and is still firmly moving towards self-reliance under the desperate siege of the West. Since the C919 came out, it has also attracted the attention of airlines in various countries, and its number of booking contracts even surpassed the sum of Boeing of the United States and Airbus of France. The development of history has proved that no one has cutting-edge technology as much as their own. I believe that with the continuous breakthrough of domestic technology, the era of being subject to import will eventually be gone forever, and China will also strive for greater success in the game of great powers. More initiative, 